<laughs> Fam, I need your courage because today we're gonna be unboxing a dead dog. Subscribe. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Okay, so last year we lost my dog Biscuit very suddenly. Um, I have like Biscuit's paw print here. Just you know, I feel like I'm touching. Ah! I swear to God, if I cry this stream. Trying not to cry. Anyway, after Biscuit passed away, I ordered a replica made of Biscuit. And let me show y'all what it looks like actually. Wait a minute. I forgot to show y'all the first version of what I got. Let me grab it real quick. Hold up. If y'all don't remember what Biscuit looks like. Y'all didn't remember what Biscuit looks like. He's like a very, very, very cute Pomeranian. Not like in this. This is just what I got. Okay, this is just what I got. So, I messaged the company that made this abomination version of Biscuit. I was like, what? You think this is cute, bro? That doesn't even look like my dog. Uh, Biscuit's my screensaver. That's what Biscuit looks like. That's what Biscuit looks like. Okay, for reference. And this is what I got, okay? Right. I mean, it's still cute. It's just not my dog. Justice for Biscuit. Justice for Biscuit, yes. Rough in peace. So, I actually received a newer plushie. They're very nice to give me another one after the revisions. It looks like Biscuit is really, really thirsty. <laughs> I was just like, this doesn't look like him. Can I please just... Who, who is... Who is this man? Come on. Right. Ah, okay. So... Damn, that hitty got me. So... They sent me a new one. Where can I put her? Maybe I can... So y'all can see. We got a new one. Really excited to open her. It's gonna be the first time I'm gonna open this box, and uh, I wanted to do it with with y'all. Kind of nervous. Kind of nervous. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's open this up. Kinda nervous, Chad. Give me your good vibes. Give me your energy. Uh. <sighs> oh my god. Okay. So this is the photo that I sent them, right? This is the photo of Biscuit that I sent them. Aww. She's so cute. And imagine getting this. <laughs> imagine getting this. Make it make sense. So, right, this. Look at this cute, precious boy. And who is she? Who is she? So I'm hoping we're getting a redemption arc. <sighs> justice for Biscuit. Justice for Biscuit in the chat. Can I get a Justice for Biscuit in the chat? Ah. <sighs> uh, anyway. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about? I don't know about this guy, but okay, anyway. Let's let's do this together. Let's do this together, Chad. Let's do this together. Uh, okay. I don't know why I'm so 
nervous. Get them. Wait. You wanna see? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, here, here we go. Oh my god! Look at that! It looks so much better! Like, wow. Oh my god, god bless. God bless. For sure cuter, for sure. I mean, like, it could be fluffier, right? But, I feel like they got... His face. <laughs> Have y'all seen Princess Diaries? It's just like this, right? And then it's like... And then... We turned her into... A princess. <laughs> kind of, kind of moment, and I'm just like, this makes me a lot happier, honestly. Like, even though it doesn't look exactly like this yet, I'm very happy that the face is a lot closer. Oh, y'all see, uh, fucking side by side, like, <laughs> it's night and day. It's night and day, you know? This is Biscuit, and this is Biscat. Like, what? What the fuck? You know? Like, who made this? Is this the intern made this? I don't know. But, oh my god. Yes. It's not even cl Right! Right! But, oh my god. It was definitely... Who is she? We we don't know her. We don't we don't know her anymore. It's oh my god! I'm so happy. Yes, it's so cute. Oh my god, so cute. Oh my god, that face is totally biscuit. The arms are a little. I think the arms look long because the fur is so short. <laughs> but it's so much better, chat. Oh, this is so good. You know what the fucked up part is? Like it says, get your camera ready, post your unboxing video, and tag us. We'll choose a winner. And then this guy is holding a photo of his pet and his. and the pet, right? For a second. I thought that he was holding his pet and then the plushie because my situation is not the same. It just needs a brushing. Let me, should I grab a brush? I got a brush and the best girl rocket. I wonder if she'll, she'll rec- Oh. Who's that? Does this look familiar or no? <laughs> Aww. Let's brush him out a little bit. That's not taxidermy though, right? Uh, it, it, biscuit taxidermy would be way cuter. But let's fluff this little guy up and let's see how it goes from there. Thank you for sticking around and being here during this unboxing. I definitely had this since like the end of last year and he's just been in a box. I think there was just some initial part of me was just like, uh, am I ready to leave it? Like a... <laughs> oh, it's getting, it's getting there, chat, right? I think this is a good spot for the light story. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay. Talk about recent events. Did y'all see the Northern Lights with your naked eye? A couple days ago? Aurora Borealis. 
the solar flares. Even though I knew in like in my heart I wouldn't be able to see it with my naked eye here here in Vegas. A couple of my friends, they found articles of like, oh, so people from Nevada saw it, da da da, but we found out later it was at Reno. And then we found out also that people from Mount Charleston or whatever saw, could see it with their naked eye. We're like, you know what? We should see if we can see it with our naked eye. You know, it was cloudy. Aw, oh, damn. I live in a city. I was not able to see it, right? So, not at least in the city. So my friends are like, oh, let's let's drive out. Numi was one of the instigators, okay, to this whole plan. She was one of the instigators. I can't say no to my girl. I was just like, uh, y'all wanna drive how far to, to try to see lights? Like pretty much an hour out into the darkness. I was like, y'all are fucking crazy. Why do y'all wanna drive into the darkness? But at the same time, it's... It feels like a once-in-a-lifetime event. Like, when are we gonna get this, like, this close to Nevada, right? So we should at least try it. Editor Chan was also with us. So she was just like, If you don't want to drive, you can carpool with us. We'll pick you up. I was like, Fuck. Well, I have no excuse. And I brought Rocket with me and I was like, You know what? If I see the Northern Lights, I'm gonna be so happy. I'm gonna be really happy I went out. I'm not gonna regret this experience. Oh my god, Chess, it's looking a little bit better, right? Oh my god, I'm, I'm like, I have fake fur all over me. It's just like this kid, oh my god. <laughs> um, we drove out. We were supposed to drive out 30 minutes, like through the freeway into the darkness. I'm oh, sorry, like an hour, right? But my friends were like, oh my god, there's people parked on the side. It, we're only 30 minutes out, but it looks like it's dark enough. We should try to park here. And then we were parked there for 20 minutes just because we saw some lights. It was like a foggy light, and I was just like, there's no way that's a light. I told my friends and knew me and editor Chan, okay. I was like, there's no way those are the northern lights. Where's the color? These bitches. <laughs> These fucking bitches were like, no, that's the lights because that's the city. They just pointed to another fucking light pollution thing. It's like, that's the city right there. So this, if we face north, these are the northern lights. And now it's just like, all right, fine. You know what? I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You're probably right. So we parked for 20 minutes and we were just staring and editor Chen was taking photos and Numi was taking photos on her phone trying to get the fucking light, trying to drag the exposure all the way up and the saturation and I'm just like, if you're trying this hard to see some northern lights, it's probably not it. But you know what? I convinced these hoes. I was just like, you know, we should drive up a little bit more. You're already 30 minutes out. Uh, what are we gonna lose? Right? What are we gonna lose? Imagine, chat, this... These are the hills. These are the hills, right? And we, and the road goes like this. Right? The road goes like this. And we were parked here. And these are the hills. And the lights were here. So we're facing north. So we're like, oh yeah, let's just, let's just keep going. So we drive here, right? drive around we go parallel to it and guess fucking what right when we hit this area past the hills we were like wait a minute what is this facility what is what are these buildings is this a secret camp what the heck i fucking went to google maps you know how on google maps you can just click this button and it'll take you exactly where you are right and then i zoom out Zoom out, and it fucking says correctional facility. I was laughing so fucking hard at these bitches because I told you so. Yes, Northern Lights Correctional Facility. <laughs> I told y'all these weren't the lights. It felt sus. And why are we looking toward the horizon and not up in the sky? That was red flag number one. I was just like, there's something sussy, sussy baka. Second red flag, it's just white. Northern Lights are like pink or whatever. Ghetto Northern Lights. After that, we were like, you know what? Let's just go home. We rage quit. We were like, we're not driving up anymore. I told my homies, if this is all we can see, unless we drive like three hours out into the mountains, 
we're not gonna see sh so let's just go home and make some homemade ramen that's what we did so we went back home to my place we just had a little ramen ramen moment like hot pot ramen moment at home it was cute dollar tree northern lights right so we rage quit but you know what you know what it's all about the journey all about the journey fam never forget and the people that we met along the way so look we have biscuit now we're good we're we're happy we're alive i just wanted to like i just wanted to show y'all what this could have been maybe the northern lights were the friends we made along the way yes <laughs> cute doge thank you this is the doge that we wanted pretty cute tbh like i wish the fur was much longer but i guess if you buy fur fabric they don't make it super super long they make it to about yeah like this length Maybe you didn't see the Northern Lights because you didn't believe in the heart of the cards. I mean, yeah, I wish I believed harder. Yes, but yeah, this is not a sponsor stream or anything. I just really missed my dog. Probably after the stream, I'm gonna hug his ashes or something like that. Not to be, not to be a Debbie Downer, but you know. Biscuit. Oh my God, crazy story. Are you all ready for this crazy story, Jack? I saw a psychic i randomly asked them are you able to see spirits he was like yes but i don't normally let's just say they're doing a reading for you and randomly say oh is this your dead relative they want to say something to you they don't usually do that because he said that every time that's happened it kind of brings the mood kind of sad and i was just like oh yeah i get it yeah so we did some tarot cards he was reading yeah. my cards and then he was just like ah, i feel a little a presence like did you recently lose a pet just like nani uh bitch yes it's like oh did you used to have a pet like a pet dog it's like yeah it's like around this size yes he was saying that oh was it a really fluffy dog and every time the dog tries to kiss you you don't like it when the dog tries to kiss you and i was like that's true because biscuit's breath stink that's why i didn't like him kissing me but i'll kiss him i'll kiss his forehead you know that detail was just like what the fuck? He was saying, uh, did he pass away suddenly? And I was just like... I was just... <laughs> what? I was just like... Yes... Yes... Yes! He actually passed away super... Suddenly! He was reading, reading me! He said that, oh, it's I kind of felt like some... Some organs failing suddenly, you know? He wanted you to know that there was nothing you could you could have really done. Uh, oh my god! And I felt better when he said that because low key I was just like, "What the f did I do?" So that was a like closure for me. Sorry. Ah, I don't like crying. The psychic said that, oh, Biscuit felt like pretty much a burden. And it's funny that he said that because I oh I always joke with Biscuit, right? Like Biscuit is the best hype dog you'll ever ever get. Like if you say anything to Biscuit, Biscuit will bark back and just be hype. Like, Biscuit, do you wanna go outside? Like, bah, 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 bah. Biscuit. Do you want to go for a ride? Da, 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 da. He'll always be like, Fuck yeah, no matter what it is. This sounds kind of morbid, right? But I, 
we would joke around like, Biscuit, do you want to die? And then Biscuit would just bark like, fuck yeah, you know? And then when he actually passed away, I was really upset. I was just like, you stupid bitch. I was just joking. You didn't actually have to do it, you stupid dog, you know? Ah. It was really funny that the psychic told me all these details. Biscuit was like, I'm gonna head out. He took it too seriously. Just you, you, you weren't supposed to fucking take my joke seriously. <sighs> Biscuit, if you're here, show us a sign. Oh my god. Oh. That's this fucking thing. I forgot I threw it behind me and it scared the shit out of me a little bit. Like, what the fuck? Like, I was just like, what is that? What is that? I, I forgot I, I forgot I tossed this guy behind me. I was just like, oh my god, what is that? <laughs> oh my god. Biscuit's gonna visit you in your dreams. I hope so. I, I really hope so. <gasps> Biscuit! Why did you leave us so soon? What is up my amazing viewers? If you've been enjoying the content here on my channel and you want to take our connection to the next level, I've got something fantastic for you. It's my very own Patreon page. We are trying to create a community where you can dive deeper into our shared interests and get exclusive access. So if you're ready, to head over and choose the tier that speaks to you. Thank you for being awesome and I can't wait to see you on Patreon. Bisky boo, bisky boo, bisky boo. Bisky boo is the bisky boo. Bisky boo is the bisky boo. Where's Rocket though? Ross gets 3D printing another biscuit. Right? Imagine. Imagine? What? 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 Oh my god. Oh my god.